Hey Eastside Kids, how are you guys doing? You guys remember me? I'm Teacher Paul and this is Teacher Amber. We're so excited to hang out with you guys today. Hi guys, I cannot believe that today is our last week for this series. I'm gonna miss going up into space. That was pretty fun. Yeah, me too. Well, we might as well enjoy it while we still can. That's true. Are you guys ready to go back up to space for one more time? Doesn't it feel so good to be back in space? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. All the stars. Yeah, and all the planets and the galaxies. Hey, you know what? We have a special challenge today. Someone oh, sent us right. a challenge to do. So let, let, let me let me see. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Oh. I am super excited for today's challenge. Oh. The challenge for today is to open up the letter. Wow. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. This is not the challenge. What's it say? It says, be kind. Oh, oh that's, that's our, our big, big idea. Big idea. Rule for today. You have to be kind to everyone. Everybody. It's Everybody. A big, not a big idea. On Earth and in space too. So be kind to astronauts. So you have to be kind in space too? Yeah. Not everybody. just not just when we're yeah. at home? It's not just while you're on Earth. You have to be kind in space too. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. There's two envelopes. How about I open this envelope? All right, you can open that one. All right. I bet it's a challenge. I bet you it is. Okay. Our challenge for today is, ooh, we're gonna visit all the planets in our solar system. All the planets? It's a great idea for our last trip to space. I don't know. Don't we have like at least 37 planets? I don't think it's quite that many. There's a lot of planets, but. Okay, I think there are. Seven. Maybe maybe eight? Yeah, there's eight or something like that. Well, in order to visit the planets, we have to put on special space suits. Ooh, I like the idea of wearing a space suit. Let's jump into the space suits and visit some planets. All right. Whoa, whoa, oh my eyes! Oh, it's oh, blinding! Oh, what it's is that? It's really bright outside! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh. I don't think that's a planet. What is that? I think this is the sun! Oh, ah, oh. And I'm whoa. sweating too. Oh, the Ooh. sun's way too hot. We Ooh. can't go there. Yeah. Turn around! Okay, Turn okay, around. okay, okay, okay. Yep, sun's not a planet. Yep, no, got no. it. Let's go somewhere else. Okay. Okay, well, this definitely feels like a planet. I mean, I'm on, I'm on rocks. Yeah, I see a lot of rocks. Yeah, this is that's, a, that's a lot of rocks. That's all I see. Oh, rocks. it's so hot. Yeah, it's still pretty hot. You know, did you bring any sunscreen? Because um, I feel like my nose is starting to burn. Oh yeah, I'm starting to uh, whew, get a heat rash. Yeah. This must whew. be the planet Mercury. Oh, Yeah, right. it's the closest planet to the sun. And man, does it feel really uncomfortable. Yeah, there's Ooh. not a lot to see here either. Yeah. There's not much here. I was hoping for maybe, I don't know, some water or... Oh, I'm getting thirsty just thinking about it. Okay, well, we've been here, done that. Let's go to the next planet, Check. Teacher Amber. All right. Oh, what planet is this? I can barely hear you. What'd you say? So what, windy. What planet is this? Oh, I... I don't, I don't know, it's so yellow. What hmm. could this place be? Oh, this must be the planet Venus. Oh, right, I've read about that one. Yeah, oh man, oh. it's 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 very yellow. And still super hot. Yeah, and kind of smoky and very windy. I can't oh. see anything. I, yeah, my, my helmet is fogging up. I think I better take it off just to get no, a breath no, of fresh no. air. No, 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 no. Don't take your helmet off. Whatever you do, you Why? won't be able to breathe. But I can see wind. But it's not oxygen, it's poisonous. 
Oh, Venus is very poisonous? Yeah, we, we don't want to take our helmet off of Venus. Okay, well, been there, done that again. I guess this isn't a great place to live or vacation in. Maybe we should find a cooler one. Oh, this is much nicer. Yeah, whew. and a lot cooler too. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, it's a very red, red planet. This must be the planet Mars. Oh yeah, the red planet. The red planet. Of course. Wow, very cool. Wow. I mean, it is literally cool. Cooler than Venus or Mercury. Way, cool. Way cooler than the sun. Yeah, I bet I could build a house over there. Under the I mean, there's no trees. There's no flowers. Yeah. It's still kind of barren and rocky, but I bet I could build a nice desert house here. A desert house, huh? Yeah. Do you think there's snakes here? I don't know. Or frogs? Uh, or maybe lizards? There's, maybe there's dinosaurs. <gasps> could there be dinosaurs Space on Mars? Space dinosaurs on Mars? Do you think I could take my helmet off here? Uh, I would better not. Okay, I think the, the air is still not really good for you in Mars. No. Yeah. Okay. Man, all of these planets, I don't know if I'd want to live here or not. Yeah, the real estate on planets is not very great. Let's go to another one, how about? Yeah, I'm hearing something rustling over over there. Maybe we should go to another planet. Yeah, I don't want to meet a space dinosaur. No, me neither. Okay. The next planet. Whoa! There's there's no ground! This is so weird! Whoa. What is this place? I'm, I'm floating or I'm falling, I'm not too sure. I don't know. And there's so much wind, I can barely hear you! Well, you know what? This place is so huge, I can't even tell where we are. Yeah! This is a massive planet! There's a lot of clouds, too. Yeah. Yeah, kind of cool. It's like orange, red, and... Yeah. We definitely Ooh. couldn't build a house here. It's windy. Maybe we could fly a, a balloon. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Or, like a hot air balloon? Yeah, or an airship or a Zeppelin. A, a Zeppelin? Zeppelin, yeah. Is like it a, a Zeppelin? Like a, it's a balloon with a house inside. <laughs> this must be the planet Jupiter. I bet you're right. Yes. Did you know the planet Jupiter is called a gas giant and it has no surface? It's just made full of Does gas. That mean that I don't know, I can't really smell in my spacesuit, but I know that the planet Jupiter is very gassy. Pew. Yeah, and the largest planet in the solar system. Whew. Well, that's pretty exciting, but I don't think there's anywhere for us to hang out on this planet. Yeah, okay. We better go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, this one's pretty. <laughs> Wow! This is a beautiful planet! Yeah, it has a ring around it. I what, like the what ring. What planet do you think this is? This must be Saturn. Saturn. Uh, it's my favorite because I like the ring around the planet. We should just go for a walk on the ring around the planet. I don't think we can. Those are actually little tiny asteroids that are orbiting Saturn. Really? Yeah. Some of them I are thought really it was tiny. like a racetrack. Maybe you could race a spaceship around it, but you can't drive a spaceship, or you can't drive a race car around them. No race cars no on Saturn's race cars. ring. Whoa, look at this planet. This is so cool. This is a completely yeah. different planet. I didn't mm. even know one looked mm. like this. Oh, it's a little cold though. We must be really oh, far yeah. from the sun. It is a little chilly. Mm. I wish I had another layer. Maybe we needed to bring our coats. What planet is this? I don't know. There's rings on this planet too, but uh, I think they got put on a little lopsided. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, it's upside down. This must be the planet Uranus. Oh. Yeah. Is that it's how you say it? Ur Uranus? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, it's it's a nice planet. It's it is really a nice chilly planet. though. Yeah, I don't think I could live here either, but I bet you could, you know, sell a lot of ice. Yeah, you can sell a lot of ice, um, but this one's also a gas giant too. So again, there's oh, no man. surface. It's just just a bunch of gas. Hmm. Oh, look at this one. Ooh, this one's also a bit chilly too. Yeah, I mean, I brought my swimsuit and mm. my snorkel, but it might be too cold to go swimming. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's very blue. I bet you could just jump in there and, uh, 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we want to swim in that. This must be the planet Neptune. Yeah, that's why I was gonna go swimming. Yeah. Well, I don't think those are ocean waves or the beach down there. I think it's also a gas giant as well. Oh man. Yeah. I thought maybe there would be some, I don't know, dolphins or space fish or... Space dolphins? Yeah. I guess that's it. Is that it for planets? I think so. Can you think of any more planets we need to visit? Oh, oh, I can think of one more. Here we are. Where are we? Yeah, it's very cold here. <sighs> my, my nose is starting cold. to turn Ooh. red. Hey, yeah. what? This isn't a planet. I, uh, there's only eight planets. Sure it is. It's the planet Pluto. Pluto? Yeah. Pluto's not a planet. Oh man. Kind of looks like a planet though. No, it's a dwarf planet. Okay, Ooh. so it's kind of like a, a mini planet. Yeah. Definitely a lot of ice. Yeah. Yeah, I could I'm sell a lot of really, ice. I'm getting really, really cold. I think my fingers are starting to freeze. You know, of all the planets I visited in the solar system, I kind of miss Earth. Me too. Hey, let's go back to our spaceship. I think we need to look at our Bible story. Okay, well, let's see what Nehemiah has been up to this time. A long time ago, there was a man named Nehemiah. Do you guys remember Nehemiah? He was in our story last week. God had helped Nehemiah and his people rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. Nehemiah wanted everyone to honor God by reading his law. He called all the people together. Everyone gathered at sunrise to hear the prophet Ezra read from God's word. Everyone bowed down as they praised God for all that he had done for them. As the people listened, they started to feel very sad. They realized that they hadn't been following God's laws. Nehemiah and Ezra told them not to weep or to be sad. They said that this was a time for the people to thank God and honor Him together. The people had a feast to celebrate what God had done for them. They also celebrated how God had helped them rebuild the city of Jerusalem. The people were filled with joy as they reconnected with God. Each day, Ezra read more of God's laws to them. The people began to understand all that God had planned for them. This reminds us to look for ways to celebrate everything that God has done for us too. Wow, that's such a great story. Yeah, it was amazing how Nehemiah and the people of Israel were able to build up the wall with God's help and they were also able to learn about God's word after they built it and they were able to throw a big party and a celebration. Yep, I think that that's probably one of my favorite parts. They got to have a feast and learn all about God's law. You know, that makes me think about what we can learn about God's Word, we should look at our memory verse. Do you guys remember it? Let's say it together. Are you ready? Are you ready? Whatever, Whatever you, you do, work at it with all your heart, heart as working for the Lord. Colossians 3.23a. That's pretty cool, eh? Yep. Yeah. And this is our last week with that memory verse. That's right, our last week in space, but also we get to start a brand new series next week. 
That's right. So join us next week and we'll have a whole new series. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to be able to watch all our videos. And on October 31st, we're having our East Side Kids Harvest Party. You guys don't want to miss it. You get to dress up in your favorite costume and there's going to be tons of candy here at East Side. So just keep that in mind, okay? And tell your parents. Yep, coming up really, really quick. We'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye. Bye.